Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Tricky run, tricky run, tricky run last time. Hopefully we can do a little better this time. Scissors is not a good start. What is this item? It's the soul, I guess, that uh, makes us put our arms down at our sides like Napoleon Dynamite runs. Okay. Pack 8, 948H. 3 HP, uh, what I'm assuming is the soul. Damage doesn't seem that good, but uh, we're also rocking the scissors, an item that is largely pretty terrible. Uh, but on the bright side, at least we have enough HP to kind of back it up here. And hopefully we can just replace this with maybe... Not even replace it, we just have like a little brimstone or something come over top. It's like getting, uh, you know, going to the Olive Garden for dinner and you're like, hopefully they'll bring out like a pepperoni pizza. They, well, they, you know, that's a terrible analogy because I've never been to the Olive Garden. They may well have some kind of pepperoni pizza. I'm sure they call it like a, you know, pescatorial flatbread or something like that on their menu, but... I don't know what I was trying to say. I'm still in my weirdly uh, exploratory, explore, explore. I'm exploring the idea that I may have lactose intolerance or have generated some intolerance to lactose as a result of uh, copious amounts of cheddar cheese consumption last night. Brain's not working completely well, but uh, at least we're starting with a little bit of tolerance on this run, so I have the capabilities to maybe get to a deal with the devil, which would be nice. And maybe unlike the last run, they could start me off with a deal with the devil that is not exclusively red chests with, like, luck upgrade pills. Alright, two bombs is big. Don't need spirit arts. It would be amazing if we could get a uh, small rock out of this one. That's alright. We did get a bomb back, and we picked up uh, another spirit heart that we're probably not going to need anytime soon, but that's okay. Just the, It's the thought that counts. It paid for itself, uh, objectively, and then some. Could be our secret room back there. Might be worth taking a crack at that, you never know. After last run, where we won pretty much on the razor's edge, I'm not, and I'm not talking about the peripheral, I'm I'm not gonna complain about anything. I wonder if, like, Pin gets hard countered by uh, the scissors. It seems like if I just stand where the head is and then have Pin jump through it, it actually does a decent amount of damage, but I wonder if it's not just taking damage from the, um, the headless baby creep there instead of the actual head, I don't know. We get toothpicks, we got four bombs, why don't we take a quick look for our second secret room like right here. And it's not there, why don't we take a quick look for our secret room right there, it is there. And we get nine cents on that, which is quite staggering. I think maybe we'll explore the rest of the floor as a result of a secret room that really, really took us to the next level there on a financial basis. Let's take a look inside of our... Shop here didn't really provide us with any value whatsoever. There is a uh, remote detonator in there, but I'm not particularly concerned. Good chance to get an arcade on the next floor, though. Might as well pick up a little bit of extra cash if we can. I know there's a couple of fires left in our secret room as well. Um, pretty much takes us to the point where we can buy something from the shop without blowing up our donation machine, possibly. Little baggie is pretty bad, though. Uh, we don't need a key. We definitely don't need a charge. Remote detonator. 15 cents for five bombs is kind of like, you know, bulk pricing. It's a wholesaler. It's the Costco, but uh, it doesn't really provide us with too much value right now. And there's our second secret room, which gives us a demon heart. Acceptable. Um, feeling really confident that we're at least going to have a crack at seeing what's in our deal with the devil in the next floor. And I don't care what it is, as long as it's something that gives us precedent. And if I can keep my spirit hearts going as well, that's even better as far as I'm concerned. Alrighty. Basement 2. Early item room. Uh, apparently... I, oh, that's, I was actually, you're not going to believe this, and there's no reason you should. But I was actually going to say, when I was like, we should replace the scissors with something, for some reason, Little Brimstone popped into my head. I was like, maybe we should replace it with Little Brimstone. Now, that doesn't make sense. It's not a space bar item, but then it showed up anyway. So this is looking pretty darn solid right now. Um, sorry, I've been playing some Metal Gear Solid Five, And not as much as I'd like, because my, my life is spiraling out of control right now. I got, you know, I'm just back from PAX. I'm doing a lot of work. Trying to keep up on the programming stuff as well, which I'm, I'm interested in doing, but, you know, it's, uh... It can be hard to motivate yourself to do it when you, you've worked all day, and then you're like, oh, I, you know, should play some video games for work tomorrow, basically. Uh, and then also, Kate and I have been playing a lot of Magic the Gathering, so, you know, I've, I've got too many, like... I, it sounds like I'm trying to posture. I'm not trying to posture, but i got too many, like, nerdy hobbies that take up a lot of time right now. i got to get back into it. I've got to play some more Metal Gear Solid Five at least. Okay. Uh, Judas' is Shadow. Obviously a fantastic item. It's gonna solve any of our damage related problems. So even though we have so many spirit hearts, I do think we'll just basically kill ourselves on this fire here to come back. 
will be doing so much damage. And I want to do it as early as possible so that we can start to build up... Oh, this is a, just a terrifying visage here. Uh, I want to do it as early as possible so we can start to build up spirit hearts from this point onwards. And we'll go to our... Sh Ooh, it was a little dangerous. We'll go to our shop. And this could be like the inverse of the last run. The last run was like 55 minutes long. This one could be... What's the inverse of 55? Is it just 55 again? Do I need to go back to math class? Or is it 1 over 55? It, you know, work with me here. Daddy's tired. Uh, don't want to take that just yet. Do want this, and then we'll blow this up. Uh, we should have gotten uh, Humble Bundle first, because it would have actually given us extra money out of that. We don't really need anything else. That's exactly what I was worried about. But in a way, I'm kind of happy that it worked out that way, so I was vindicated at least. Uh, don't really want to go into our curse room unless we can get in for free, which we cannot unless one of these contains a bomb. Oh, oh God! Um, I should have just stayed in there and picked up some extra stuff, but well, this is dangerous now. Yeah, you know what? Let's just go. I'm ready. Don't step on the fucking fire or the poop. Oh my God. Okay. Well, we've made things interesting. We had three spirit hearts uh, 45 seconds ago. Now we have one, and no bombs with which to access tinted rocks. But I'm relatively unconcerned as a result of the fact. That we have Judas' Shadow and really high damage for where we're at in the game. And Humbling Bundle. But let's keep in mind that, um, you know, one champion could fuck us over. What happens if you sleep in a dirty bed and you get three spirit arts anyway? Oh, okay. So all's forgiven. Uh, we don't really want to take a portal down to the next level right away. So we'll just ignore that other opportunity down there. You know what? This room would have scared the shit out of me if there was not a um, an Isaac's room next to us. One of those champion bullets... Maybe a bullet from a non-champion as well. Could have just killed us outright. And that would have been a terrible end of the streak. Basically entirely because I was an idiot and uh, stepped on that spike back there on the last floor. But now it's like we're sitting pretty. Pretty much we just got carried, if we're being honest. I would love to be like, oh, well, that's why you always do your due diligence, kids. But really, let's be honest. Like, we we got very lucky that we got to carry there. I mean, we haven't taken damage. It's not like I've, I've taken damage and I'm lucky to be alive. But we're lucky to not be scared. And we'll get little Steven for free from this crawl space, which honestly, if you're going to get little Steven, crawl space is pretty much the ideal opportunity so that you didn't really pay too much to make it happen. Could get a spirit heart in there if we're interested. It's a real bad habit of mine to just look at the shop for like a quarter of a second and then leave, but for the most part, I think I have the item so, you know, ingrained in my brain's muscle memory that I don't need to... Uh, I don't need to take too much extra time to look at them. Now, this would be awesome to get a second deal with the devil. Like, HP, second deal with the devil, and then just snowball out of control. Because our damage is already so good. I mean, Mega Fatty is a difficult, or at least tanky boss, and went down no problem there. Experimental treatment is a little bit of a risk. Not a huge one, though. Second secret room? I was hoping that would be secret room as well, but... Teleport to the deal with the devil. Uh, oh, this is an interesting one. Uh, <laughs> let's take... The goat head. And then we'll go back and very carefully make our way back to the shop. Where we're going to be hoping to pick up a spirit heart. Alright. I, I do think the goat head is worth picking up there. The other thing is that we can actually uh, now go back to this deal with the devil. So all we need to do is get uh, some spirit hearts and then we can pick up Guppy's collar. But we have to do so in a position that leaves us comfortable. Because right now I'm being a little... We know it's not bad trip, so we might as well, right? Um, I'm being a little uh, overly aggressive. Making myself a little uncomfortable by by taking so many deals. But uh, we're not too far off from the snowball. We might be inside of the snowball, but like there's rocks and gravel in it right now. It's more of an ice ball. You know, it's the kind of thing that would get you banned from your school for a couple days if you threw it at another kid. Which, I mean, that's it's all academic here anyway, because it's already... I don't know about you guys, but my school snowball fights were banned. We were always like, that's that's stupid. That's pretty good. That's stupid, teacher. Snowball fights are part of being a kid. That might well be true, but as I've gotten older, I'm like, you know what? Maybe that's not such a bad thing. Throwing big blocks of usually ice because they hold it in their hands. and You know, I, I've been hit by some nasty snowballs in my day. 
you know, knock your glasses clean off, live, give you a black eye. There's no snowball fights in Canada are not like movie snowball fights, you know, where it's just like a big ball of, of white dust. It hits you when it's like a cloud, and you're like, oh, this is refreshing. This is what it's like to be in the winter time. That's like the snowball that you throw at someone that you're trying to date, or at least, you know, get jiggy with. Is that dancing, or is that, you know, genital to genital contact? Anyway, um, if you if you are having a snowball quote unquote fight or war, you're throwing some ice balls that are meant to, you know, if not uh, kill the enemy, at least take them out of commission long enough that you can, you know, achieve your operational objective. Uh, I mean, this has been great. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think I can take a deal with the devil here. I might, like, I might be able to and live because I have one red heart, but I don't want to risk it. So we got rotten baby. We got goat head. We got experimental treatment, which I'm not going to touch, I think. And then we'll just head down to the next floor. And this is a great run. It's going extremely well right now. If I had taken a little bit less stupid damage, I'd be even happier. But it is what it is. Oh, an eternal heart. So we won't bother playing a blood bank on this floor, but I've got the guaranteed 1 HP anyway. Uh, I, I know I haven't really been using the scissors. It's because I kind of don't understand how to use the scissors. I still don't understand. Like, Basically, it creates a tower that shoots with your tears in the same direction that you shoot. Which seems really, really bad. <laughs> Maybe I'm being, like, a little bit overly reductive there or something, but... It's like the scissors and the shears could not be, uh, like, more different in terms of their value. The shears is incredible, one of the best items in the game. One of the best spacebar items, at least, I think. Active items. Uh, the, the scissors are, are trashed here, I think. I've never found anything good for them. We get Distant Admiration. Um, I don't know if Rotten Baby counts as a fly item, so I wouldn't say we're necessarily close to getting Lord of the Flies or anything like that, but uh, Distant Admiration is an item that I'm fond of regardless. One bomb for six cents. We did not get the keys, but that's still a pretty good trade. And it definitely looks like Boss Rush is going to be something we could consider here. We're definitely going to get a deal with the Devil. This has all the makings of a Krampus deal with the Devil, though. Not that there's anything wrong with that. You know, I would... Ooh, luck up. I would like to get a uh, Lump of Coal. Even Krampus' head would be better. We, we're in this unique situation where two runs in a row. We've been, like, kind of hoping for Krampus. Might as well open that. We have Humbling Bundle. Two bombs is very likely to pay out with more than two bombs. The Compass, well worth it. The end is near. I never really commented on the flavor text for that, but it's, uh... That's really clever flavor text. Not the kind of thing you're gonna write home about, but when you, you know, see it yourself, you're like, ah, oh, I get it. The end is near. It's a mapping item. So we got box of stuff. Safety cap. Hermit card. Hermit card is basically free boss rush. Health up is fantastic. And one red heart item, sacrificial dagger. I think it's worth it. Might as well take safety cap. I mean, I, I can't think of a great reason why we wouldn't. And I think we should do our boss rush. Not boss rush. Uh, mini boss on this floor as well. We're a few minutes ahead of schedule. Two minutes ahead of schedule. By the time we do that, we'll probably be like a minute at most ahead of schedule. Maybe even 30 seconds. But we should be making very good time here. And you never know what that mini boss is. It could give us another guppy item. And by another, I mean our first guppy item. But now is a really great time to get uh, nine lives if they're going to drop it. I think we will spend a bomb for that. Uh, I think we'll spend two bombs for that, just to just to prove a point of how valuable it could be. Took me a little longer than expected to make that one work. Well, we're obviously not going to get a guppy item here, unless he drops a random red chest. But uh, you know, well, I guess it was worth it for the one sixth of a scissors charge, and by that I mean it was not worth it at all. But here we are. Sometimes it's not worth it. Sometimes it's worth it uh, in spades. So. Get the heck out of here. Not going to play the Blood Bank. Not going to go to the library. We're, like, we're going to lose uh, our Eternal Heart, which I probably can afford to, but don't want to regardless. I have no idea where our second secret room is due to the layout here. Um, probably like on the bottom of that last turn that we took there, but it doesn't make a big difference. It might make a big difference, but it probably doesn't make a big difference. We don't want that. Uh, let's, let's go to our curse room. For once, we can afford to. We did miss out on it on the first floor. Not enough bombs, not enough HP. Now we're coming back and saying, you know, got the whole world talking. Uh, I'd like to escape. I don't think it's going to be possible. That's all right. We got three spiders for one spirit heart. That is um, definitely a, a qualifier for worst deal of the day. Let's make sure we're taking a quick peek for... Man, I would totally watch that show. Worst deal of the day. 
It would just be taken from like, oh no, now I'm I'm giving A and E too many ideas. It would be taken from like a flea market with cameras set up everywhere. And it'd be like our worst deal of the day. Joe Marcus from Bloomingdale, Indiana came in here. He said he would pay no more than $13 for a used muffler from a 1957 Chevy Nova. Um, and he ended up paying $16 for it. Would Congratulations, Joe. Stick to your principles. I don't know why I went with Joe. It's like a, like a Joe Dirt kind of thing, I guess, which is very offensive. And I apologize. Worst deal... Well, you can, then you could call it, like, dirty deal of the day. That would be for, like, when you really screwed someone over. Parasite is fine. Petrified poop... Like... I don't really relish the safety cap, but I do now that we have PhD, but, uh... I also think petrified poop is just like a little too little too late, right? PhD gives us health up. All right. Now I want no Krampuses because we are getting a little out of control here with our HP thanks to our pill rotation. I'm very happy to see it. Terrible damage. Oh, that could be worse. Where did this... Is this spider still from that curse room back there? I don't have any spider generating items, I think, so it must be. That is unexpected. Let's put it that way. All right. I mean, Goathead, Little Brimstone, Dark Judas pretty much gives us the win already, which is really reassuring to know that we're in that, like, dominant position as is. But let's see if we can't twist the knife a little bit more. Obviously, Little Gish helps out a little bit. Uh, followed by Krampus, where we'll, we'll take anything, honestly. Lump of Coal is probably still better, but I'll take anything, and that's Krampus' head, and I'm not going to complain about that for once in my adult life. Let's head down to the next floor. We did go to item room shop, curse room, mob trap room, etc, etc. And yeah, double key room. It's not going to be a reroll based on what I see from the compass here. Oh, I love this room! But it can, uh, it can slow you down, that's for sure. So those are the only ones we can get without, without paying, uh, HP. So, I'm not completely against the idea of paying some HP to open red chests, but I might as well just wait and see if there's like a, a hanged man card or something. Two bombs for one black card. Is it? It's an okay deal, but it's not really what I was looking for. Dead onion for basically piercing shots. I'll take it. There's a fool card. Fool hermit. I mean, one of them saves us a key, but it doesn't really matter too much. I found pills. Still looking out for the ability to fly, but we're talking, you know, it's a game of, of inches right now. I don't know what that means. High Priestess we cannot really afford to take here. Um, is there no arcade, it looks like. So I can't get into that boss trap room except by some lucky means if we can figure that out. I would like to. We could use one teleportation card to teleport out of there and the other one to teleport out of boss rush. Super Pride, this is exactly what I was hoping for, and it didn't pay out with nine lives, but thank you for the opportunity, I guess is the only thing I need to be saying there. I appreciate the chance you gave me. I hate tractor beam rooms, especially with slow sh or low shot speed, I guess I should say. Um, really, really annoying. No greed. I mean, I should be probably donating, but I really like Hive Mind, even if we're not going to become Guppy. We do have Rotten Baby, it's it's a help. We're kind of in an equilibrium point right now anyway, where like... It, it would take a, a very prolonged catastrophe and mismanagement to uh, end up like depleting our donation machine completely. I'm not gonna worry too much about the equilibrium, you know. Over the course of the past couple of months, we've gotten it from like 200 to 600, so... And we've gotten it higher, I think we've had it as high as like 800, but... I'm not gonna read too much into that. We can always... We can always have some runs that are a little bit more dedicated to donating if we want to. Sometimes I donate, it only takes like two cents, and I'm like, well, what's the what's the point? You're just wasting my time. Okay, so let's we can always handle other stuff on the floor when we teleport out. Let's just get this sorted out first. Pretty fly. I'm not sure if that takes us closer to being Lord of the Flies, but either way, I'm happy for it. I'm very surprised I didn't get hit there. I'm very su equally surprised I did get hit on that one, but that's okay. Polaroid and our deal with the devil is red chest. Doesn't bother me as long as they're guppy items somewhere in there. They're not, but another pretty fly. And a fool card. 
none of this, I mean, scapular is like the, the quintessential, like, cool item out of this, but I'm gonna take super bandage. For, for reasons. Makes me feel more comfortable. Wow, thank you for pushing uh, my bomb out of the way. As a result, we got dry baby instead of probably nothing. And we'll go donate the rest of our money up here. I don't think it's gonna take too much, but just, just call it a hunch, I guess. All right, let's have some coffee. It's my dream job. This is the show where I, I, I talk about random shit for like 45 minutes and then just take like one eight minute long sip of coffee and then at the end I just go, well, see you tomorrow. With Dan's dirty deal of the day. Still can't get into our mob or boss trap room. I think it's just time for us to go, honestly. I really, I'm, I'm kind of hoping for like a little bit of a, you know, a knockout punch moment here where I get something that's not a metaphor that people use or an expression that people use. Um, I'm hoping for a little bit of a, uh, you know, like a KO punch moment. I don't know where I'm going with this. That really takes me over the top, but kind of right now it's just like, it's just great. It's not like markedly great in any particular direction over any other particular direction, but it's just a really, really good run that is pretty much unlosable. I found pills. That's uh, that's that's huge for our morale and our chances, I'd say. Don't really need the money, so I'll be an asshole and ignore it. You have to give me the opportunity to ignore it, though, because on the last run, there wasn't a whole lot of stuff that I could ignore. And we ended up coming through, you know? People don't give, uh, they don't, they don't handle their self-control in a positive way. People always treat it like it's feast or famine. I gotta spend every waking hour thinking about this thing that I'm passionate about, or, you know, I, it, I'm not, I'm gonna fall behind. Now, self-control, it's, it, it's a marathon, not a sprint. And, you know, there are times in a marathon, unless you're, you know, literal Olympic gold medal winner, um, or competitor. Let's let's pull it down a little bit. Where you gotta like conserve your energy a little bit. There's parts of the run you're gonna conserve your energy. There's parts of your run where you're gonna, uh, you know, go go all out basically. That's how I feel right now. We used a lot of our reserves of self control to to keep myself sharp during that last run, where I needed it, and now I don't need it so much. So who gives a shit if we ignore a couple of pennies here or there? You know, it's all about keeping that morale up for most people. I think. Alright, that is pretty much useless. It's our final deal with the devil here. Deals with the devil have been decent. Not the not really the coups that I would be expecting, but this is our this is our chance to redeem those completely here. Keep in mind, little brimstone came from just a, a random item room. And I paid a lot of HP for Goadhead. A lot, a lot of what my HP looked like at the time, at least, went into getting Goathead. So, forgive me for being at least slightly disappointed that we got, like, Sacrificial Dagger. Not even Rotten Baby. Rotten Baby was another item room item. Um, I, I forget what other stuff we got. Anyway, those pills we'd be expecting to be good. This is better. Pentagram. At least gives us extra damage. We don't need the deal with the devil chance. I think we also don't need the nail. So, HP. Pretty fly. Sure, we got three of those now. Health up. Balls of steel. I don't know if we could even use that, but we'll head down to the next floor regardless. Man, this is like 10 times faster than the last run. I don't mean that in like, you know, oh, thank God. But it's really just like, at 20 minutes into the last run, I think we might have actually been on the caves one. It was one or two. Ah, no, it was probably two. Because now that I think about it, um, we went down to the caves one at like seven minutes, like normal time frame. Wow, that was a colossal waste of uh, time here. Looks like using Balls of Steel was actually not a, an idiotic move. It, it did give us two Spirit Hearts. Which you'd be like, of course it gave you two Spirit Hearts. But I didn't know if I was at full HP, especially after taking that uh, full health pill. Or not full health, sorry, health up. So if there's rooms that are not en route to the boss, I'm less interested in picking those up. I guess we killed Invisible Man. That's one of the problems with being invisible. I don't know where I'm using like Krampus's head here. I guess I'll use it against it lives and it'll do a decent amount of damage right out the cut. But this is uh, this is gonna be like a sub 30 run I think here, which is it's okay. It's not anything to necessarily write home about, but it's pretty good. And uh, certainly after that, you know, sub 60 run that happened before, 
This is good for my morale. I'm ready to come back with a run that's a little bit trickier and um, and work for it. And you never know, you know, the next Eden run could start you with Brimstone, uh, like Brimstone Sta Satanic Bible, or the next Eden run could start you with, uh, you know, I don't even know, there was a joke in there somewhere that I completely missed, but I just encountered another wave of, uh, of stomach pain related to my cheddar cheese consumption, hopefully, and I, uh, I have temporarily lost the ability to, to can, if you will. I wanted to use it on that room, but... It's not charged up. Thanks a lot, Mom's Heart. Alrighty. That is a huge disappointment. Balls of Steel will save for later. And yeah, I mean, in contrast to the last run, remember how, like, Womb 2 went on the last run? Where we were so close, like, the, the Angel of Death was upon us at every moment. This run right now is, like, almost the exact opposite. Just save some keys, just in case we need them for guaranteed items. Um... I, I have so many outs. You know, Balls of Steel is an out. Krampus' head is not really an out, but it's, uh, you know, it's a benefit. We didn't have that on our last run. We were still using Broken Remote. On, or no, we were using Tammy's head? No, we were using Red Candle. Never mind. We, we switched items so many times, but every single one of them was an upgrade, so I'm not going to complain about that. That's uh, Pretty Fly, which we don't need. Now I feel bad about complaining, because Red Candle might be the best spacebar item in the game. At least if you have shit damage, it, it, it can be, but, uh, yeah, like, we, we are just much more comfortable here. It's like the difference between flying first class and fly, flying cargo. And that's not me being a snob, that's not me saying coach is, oh, coach is so uncomfortable as you fly, you know, on a $600, or $600, not dollar, $600 million, you know, modern engineering marvel through the sky. Please take it from me that I'm not saying that actually... For the most part, I, I don't even recline. I, I have never flown anything above coach, except for one time they were like, is anybody traveling alone? And I put up my hand and um, they moved me and another dude up to the first class, but it was on like a, a very, very small like twin prop plane. So we basically just got to deboard first. There was not even like any service of, of drinks or food or anything during the flight. But anyway, quote unquote first class. It's, I said cargo class. That's when they put you in with like where the bags are. All the Procter and Gamble you know, Tide Pod, uh, industrial Costco-sized cases. I've never flown cargo. They won't let me. I keep offering. They say it's a liability. Oh, insurance won't let us. Yo, man, insurance works for you, not the other way around. Okay. This is largely kind of subpar, but we've gotten enough luck upgrades that I'm kind of like, you know, I, w I would expect to have the opportunity to pick up some chests here. We're gonna win regardless. It's it's almost a foregone conclusion. I could lose like the the way that we lose on this run is basically just shitting the bed on on like every single room. Probably taking like two hits per room that we shouldn't take. We even know where the boss is. We don't specifically know how to get there, but we know where the boss is. I'm very surprised that we're not encountering uh, any chests so far. We've, we've had at least two luck upgrade pills and luck foot. So I'm not thinking that we're like the luckiest person in Isaac history, but you'd be expecting maybe once every other room to get a chest or something like that, but, you know, I think it does come down to a dice roll either way, so maybe we're just getting bad luck on that. Maybe one of these days I'll, I'll look deeper into the mechanics so I won't make myself look so ignorant. Maybe one day I'll stop saying that and I'll actually do it. Let's be honest, that's not likely to happen anytime soon. It's just the way I like to play the game. It's another, uh, it's measuring, or not measuring, but managing my own self-control, you know? You know, you've you've ridden Epona in the Legend of Zelda series, the horse. The, it's not a series of horses, it's a series of video games in which Epona is usually the horse. Um, you, got, you only got five carrots, man. You don't want to blow five carrots right off the bat. I'll feel very silly if it turns out that that's actually, like, the optimal way to play, but... You know what? It, the metaphor still holds. You get what I'm trying to say, whether it's factually correct or not. All right, you are going to be in real trouble when little Brimstone actually hits, Mister. Yeah, like I said, sub thirty. It'll probably actually be you know sub twenty-seven, which, as far as I'm concerned, is sub thirty. I mean, mathematically, yes, but I just mean like it. I'm not going to delineate it too much, and we didn't take any damage so far, so. I'm actually going to let Sacrificial Dagger do a lot of the talking down here, because that's kind of one of the main reasons of having it. And it was a good run! I had a good time on that one, I hope you did too. Thanks for watching! A little post Isaac stretch here, if you enjoyed it, click the like button. Helps out a great deal, and of course subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.